sacred scriptures always have a way of not only telling us about the life of Christ, but tells us something about our own lives. In the scriptures, when our Lord enters into the temple and sees them selling everything out there, got all the tables set up and they're making it into a marketplace, he loses it. Flips over all the tables, makes a whip out of cords, runs them out of there and says, stop making my father's house into a marketplace. It's safe to say Jesus got angry. Jesus got real angry. And in doing so, he challenged them. He challenged them for what they were doing. So if Jesus was a man like us in all things but sin, then if Jesus did it, it's not sinful. Therefore, the question is, people say, you know, I get so angry with, yeah, we get angry. It's called life. It's called original sin. It's called the human condition. Anger is really part of where we live. It's foolish to think that if I'm going to be a good person and a devout Christian, I am just never going to be angry. I'm going to go through life and smile and say, God loves you. I'm going to let people walk all over me, and I'm going to smile and say, God loves you. That's not being Christian. That's being a doormat for the sake of the kingdom of God. Being Christian means that we're fully alive, we're fully human, we are aware of all of our conditions. The difference is, when Christ got angry, Christ called for something better. When we get angry, we call him anything we can think of. We call him every name in the book. It's of no value. See, the sin comes not when we're angry. Feeling angry and being upset is not in and of itself sinful. It's what we do in the course of our anger is where we cross the line to become sinners. Because we say things to people, we do things to people, we desire to get them back, we act angry, we call them all sorts of horrible things, we accuse them of stuff, that's where you sin. But the fact that you're upset and the fact that something really bothers you does not mean you're unchristian. The fact that you're angry does not mean that you're not being Christ-like, but it's in our anger to be able to say what we really mean. We're not called to be pet rocks for the sake of the kingdom of God. We're called to be fully human and alive. We say, hey, wait a minute. We can't do this. That's not right. That's not fair. I don't accept that. I don't want whatever. You fill it out. If we think that being Christian means we never get angry again, then we're not going to become Christian. We're going to have an ulcerated stomach. We're just going to live in turmoil. We're going to be nervous. We're going to be upset. We're going to eventually become very, very confused and very, very upset and angry by the fact that we don't allow ourselves to become angry. If Christ is a man like us in all things but sin, then getting angry is not a sin. What we do and what we say in our anger is where we sin. Call for something better. Deal with the issue. Just don't get ugly and angry and upset. Deal with the issue. Be healthy. Don't get ulcers. Be fully human, fully Christian, and be Christ-like, even in our anger. Thanks for being with us. Have a good one.